Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and we're here to talk about the one, the only, Kane. Sorry guys, that was something my um Kane. <laughs> so don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that beautiful notification bell and let's get started. So, Kane's always been in wrestling for as long as I remember watching wrestling. Um, and the big red machine, the man named after myself, Kane. Uh, <laughs> I loved this man growing up, you know, I, it's, and I, st- I still go back and watch his matches today, It's a, he's a great wrestler, he's had such an insane career, ups and downs, and so many stuff that he's done, so much stuff that he's done, is, it's weird, and if you know this, you know this, but I have to say, I'm definitely a Canaanite, um, yeah, if you know what I'm talking about, you're probably old, but if you know what I'm talking about, Canaanites, they're the thing, uh, <laughs> See from his like stuff with Lita, the marriage, he's the uh, such a weird career, and I would have to thank this guy for the fact that he made me be Kane in every wrestling match that I done as a kid because of my last name, and <laughs> those memories honestly hold something pure special to me. I remember one of my first wrestling toys I got was Kane. Just yeah. I, I have loved Kane for such a long time. He's such a cool guy. I, I, I even love his 2003 stuff when he took the mask off and he's got like that mad, big red monster mad machine person who came in and beat shit out of people with the clamps on Shane McMahon's balls. Um, yeah, there's so much. Like, It's so hard to think what wrestling's going to be without somebody like a Kane, without people like Undertaker and stuff like that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through my top five matches first, then we'll run through my top kind of moments, I've changed these from the last time I've done it guys, kind of, uh, number one is Kane versus Undertaker at Wrestlemania, that first Wrestlemania match that he was in, it was just, yeah, it was insane, and it was a, a great match, Kane Taker's always a good match, and uh, yeah, number two, we've got Kane versus Shane McMahon, by the way we're going from my top match down, <laughs> so number two, Kane Shane McMahon Survivor Series 2003, this was a great match, the ambulance kind of thing, it was fun, it was really really fun, this was the night that Kane came out and attacks Taker, uh, the biker Taker against Vince McMahon, he gets buried and then he comes back at Wrestlemania 20, by the way I've just said Kane versus Undertaker at Wrestlemania because any of them are great matches, number 3 is the TLC4 which is on Raw Roulette October the 7th 2002, the one where Kane won the TLC by himself, this was insane. Honestly, it was a great match and Kane looked great during it as well. Number four is Kane versus Taker versus Austin. That triple threat that Kane wasn't allowed to pin Taker and Taker wasn't allowed to pin Kane and then that led into the two kind of going against each other was really fun. Number five, Kane, Daniel Bryan and Ryback going against The Shield, TLC 2012. I loved this match. Do you know... At this point, I wasn't really watching wrestling. I kind of I took a step away from it. Um, obviously, you know about my neck and stuff like that. I took a step away from wrestling. And it was either just after this or the year just after, maybe 2013, I started getting back in. And I remember watching this match and I recently went back to it. And it's, it's a great match. So moments, guys. I'm going to go descending this time. <laughs> I'm going to start at five and go in. So, like, a Kane and Daniel Bryan stuff, I thought was hilarious. Number four, Kane and Lita. That Kane and Lita's snisky kitten, the baby, and all that kind of stuff was, was so weird. Uh, number three, Kane taking his mask off for the first time when we all thought he was going to be this burnt person and he just kind of looked normal ish. He didn't look that bad. He was just kind of ugly. <laughs> I've got a cheat to speak. Uh, number two, the Inferno match, Kane's arm going in fire, the first one way, uh, Taker, yeah, Unforgiven I think it was, um, when Kane's arm went in fire, yeah, I know it was so fake, right, but it just looked so cool, and then number one has to be the debut of Kane coming out, ripping that door off the shell, the, the, the shell, the cell, and uh, yeah, it was insane, I I love Kane, guys. I really do. You know, I've not watched a lot of his matches recently. I've went back and watched a lot now. And I'm like, this guy is good. Do you know what I mean? Like, he, he is really good. Of course he's good. He's been WWE for so long. But kind of, I remember him being good. And then I, I kind of fell away from him. But go back and watch his stuff. It's just insane. And 
it's so sad at the minute because it feels like a lot of my childhood is dying out. Like, Taker's gone, Kane's gone, you've got, like, Austin's away, Rock's away, Triple H's away, Shawn Michaels is away, Rob Van Damme's away, you know what I mean? AJ Styles is there and I think he might be the only one there since my childhood. Uh, it's, and it's good to see, obviously, you've still got Jericho and stuff like that kind of going around, but it's such a, a an edge being back. Like, I my, my childhood is fucking made up that he's back, but it's such a weird period. Like, my kind of stuff is starting to die away and it's becoming the, the kind of newer stuff, which is good as well. I still love the new stuff, but the guys that I grew up watching, and it just makes me feel really old. <laughs> anyway, guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that beautiful notification bell. Comment below what you think is your best Kane moment. What's something when you saw Kane, you were like, shit, this guy's insane. Um, what do you remember most about Kane? Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you back here um, tomorrow now for NXT TakeOver Part 2. Um, we've got a watch along, which is Austin versus Bret Hart. We've also got Rob Van Damme's Hall of Fame kind of special. And I've got something else and I can't remember what it is. No, I can't remember, guys. I'll be, I'll be uploading tomorrow. I'll just check, check kind of Twitter. I normally upload like a little schedule of what's coming up during the day, especially at this point when there's so much going up. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and thanks for watching the channel.